You've been covering this from day one. What did AMD say initially, and what have they now said? Today? Right, you'll remember, Emily, that just before Intel uh, held a conference call to explain what was going on, put a statement out there saying there's zero to very little chance of us being affected by this. We're fine. Clearly, that put them at odds with what Intel was saying that this was an industry-wide problem. Led everybody to believe that perhaps you know AMD is a, a viable alternative here. Maybe they're safe, and maybe this is a big opportunity for AMD. Why would they say that? not knowing for sure. That is a question that I would like to hear them answer. Um, they've certainly not helped themselves by doing this. And you know, what are the implications of this? How widespread, how much more widespread do we believe it could be as a result of AMD? Right. Or are these devices that already have other chips in them? Yeah, I mean, no, you know, the computers that are out there that are based on AMD processors mm -hmm. are dependent on those processors. Mm -hmm. AMD had, did say in, in its update, look, we've got the patches on the way, we've got things, covered, you know, we're going to help, we're going to be fine, everything's going to be fine. But at the same time, a patch that Microsoft put out there on AMD based machines didn't work. It froze them. That's having to be redone. That'll be coming next week. Whatever way you stack this, it, it, this just doesn't look good.